Well, we're here at Cincy AI Week, and I'm sitting down with Evan Moore, CTO, co-founder, Open Advantage. Tell us a little bit about who you are and what inspires you. So what really inspires me in really the technical space is open source, right? It's been something that's been stuffed under the rug for years on end, and now it's really starting to shine in AI. Okay. And when you think about your brand, what's something you want people to feel about your brand, not just know? That anything you do in technology is yours, that you can actually own your systems. You don't have to keep renting systems from other providers. You can actually have the ability to own your AI, control your AI, and do as you please with AI. Okay. And in your opinion, what makes a message truly resonate with someone? The power to govern your AI is the most important power to, to actually have when it comes to AI. The problem in the industry today is there are so many different SaaS platforms out there and there's no way to really know what to choose. So when I look at this approach, we want to take away that that power from the SaaS agencies and give that back to the businesses. Okay. What are some misconceptions you think people have about AI? Really, it's the lack of education. I mean, there's there's so much when it comes to the open source side, there's so much when it comes to the AI side. People don't understand what the word agent means anymore. People don't understand really what agentic systems are. And they really don't understand how their data is being utilized. Okay. and. Uh, how does AI and the human connection integrate together? Really, it, sh it should be part of the day-to-day -day life. At this point, it's like your cell phone. You can't go anywhere without it. If you go anywhere without it, then you're going you're to be left behind, and there's no even way you're going to be able to compete. Okay, and what do you think the future of that collaboration between human, AI, advanced tools is going to look like? So... The future really is not in SaaS agencies. It's not really within ChatGPT wrappers or SaaS websites. It's within the open source community. It's not about paying for software anymore. It's about paying for servers. It's about paying for consulting. Really, everything will be in the next five years centralized into one platform, allowing everyone to utilize the same systems, but have their own special needs built into it. And where do you see that uh, that is really being used in a uh, way that is beneficial as well as where do you see some problems with how people are using that technology now? So when it comes to providers like Microsoft or these other or ChatGPT, just like the recent court case that happened, now they have to collect every single piece of information and log it forever. This information could be intellectual property that's held for many years and even leaked to other companies for a price. And honestly, we can't trust anyone anymore in this industry. So keeping the AI in your organization is the best thing that you could do. Okay. And uh, what does your company do to uh, help people do that? We help set up, consult, and even govern these systems and make policies that actually matter inside their business. We don't just sell software to make a commission. We actually make the software to help benefit people. And tell us about that human part of that, that the AI can does not replace. Really when it comes to humanity, you can't recreate a soul. It's that simple. If you try to even come close to recreating a soul, right, you have Terminator and that's not gonna happen. Um, definitely the feeling side because you, you really can't replace feelings you can't really replace you can't replace human spirit you may be able to augment them into AI and maybe have a superhuman but there's no way you can really replace us and how does that fit into what you do what's your superhero power that you just can not uh, have AI duplicate when I say something, it becomes reality. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for sharing with us at Cincinnati.